Well, hello guys. Sorry for the fan noise behind, but just my Mac's overheating at the moment because I was gaming like crazy. So pretty much today I'm going to show you guys how to use Window Tidy. So basically what this program does is you take any type of window and you can drag it into certain sizes that you want. And you can make it full screen, you can make it to one side, and however you want. So let's get right to it. So this is going to be the download screen. Just click on download. And you should be able to download it. And after you're downloaded, boom, window tidy. It's that iPad looking ripoff screen with that red box within that grid. So pretty much you just want to click on it and it's going to open the preferences for you. And basically I'm going to show you guys how to make your own sizes. So basically you click on the plus sign over there and you call it whatever. And then you, the good thing about this thing is you can precisely like choose how big or small you want each grid to be. So, so you want it like. I think there's a maximum to this. Yeah. Anyways, so basically for me, I just like keeping it with the default six by six because there's really not much more precise you can get to except this. So basically, you drag like that, and let's say let's say you want to get funky, and you just want you want to go half, top half, and bottom. Whoops. Let's edit that, and then yeah, and you can double click to edit. And then click save. And basically we have two, which is the top half and the bottom half. So now all you need to do is just open up any window that we want to multitask or whatever. And then just create the new one and kaboom guys. And we can multitask like a boss. No problem for me. I already have default. Uh not default, but things that I have set up. So basically I, I like to go like this a lot because you can have a word document and whatever you're looking for. And boom, you'll be good to go. So, pretty much that's how you use Window Tidy. Next week, come back to Watch Nation Rage. That's going to be me. So, come back next week. See you later.